The FFS2000 is a fusion splicing workstation which is capable of performing all steps of the splice process. Strip, cleave, clean, splice, recoat, and proof test. Splicing is performed at the splice station. Heat is applied to the fibres through the resistive heating of an omega shaped filament. This means that a controlled amount of heat can be supplied uniformly and consistently to fibres. When a new or newly refurbished filament is first installed, it must be cycled between its operating temperature and room temperature several times to stabilise its thermal output for consistent heating performance. This process is called burning in a filament. In this video, we will demonstrate how to burn in a new or newly refurbished filament. Under the configuration menu, the filament normalization tool displays several parameters. Filament age is a counter which shows the total time that the filament has been turned on in seconds since it was installed. Before burning in a new or newly refurbished filament, manually reset the filament age to zero seconds. Filament power offset is a constant which is added to the splice power of the splice file. This allows two filaments with different thermal response to run the same file with consistent results. When you install a new filament, set this value to zero or close to zero, but it will change as a result of the filament normalization process later. If you are replacing a filament, you will first need to remove the old filament body. Open the splice cap so that you can access the filament. Locate the filament extraction tool that shipped with your unit. Back off the two set screws at the bottom. Now place the extraction tool over the filament with the set screws on the right. Tighten both set screws to clamp the extraction tool onto the filament body. Then gently lift upwards to remove the filament. To install a new filament, orientate it so that the curved edge is towards the back of the unit. The filament channel has two holes for the filament contact pins. When handling the filament, avoid touching the loop. Hold the new filament so that its pins are aligned above the holes. Lower the filament so that the contact pins engage in the holes. Then. Gently push down and evenly on either side of the filament until it is flush with the top surface. Common burn-in splice files should be pre-installed on the computer that ships with the unit. It will use a splice power at or near the typical operating power of the unit. The splice on duration will be limited to 15 seconds to avoid overheating. When the burn-in file is loaded, Press the blue button to execute the burn-in splice process. Note that no fibres are loaded during filament burn-in. It is normal to see a small puff of smoke when the filament is burnt in. It is recommended that the file be executed four times with a cooldown of at least 15 seconds between each. This will age the filament to 60 seconds. During the course of the filament's life, its thermal response to the supplied current will vary, even though it has been burnt in. It is therefore critical to regularly normalise the filament so that it maintains a consistent power output and heating effect on the fibres.